Kern County has a storied history when it comes to World Wars I and II, and at the heart of that history is Minter Field. 23 ABC's Sam Hoyle was in Shafter to learn more about the renovation happening at the museum there that works to highlight the contributions made by servicemen and women in and around Kern County. The building that houses the Minterfield Air Museum has been around since the late stages of World War II, and with that, several coats of paint. But as time went on, the paint faded. Now work is being done on the outside of this building to bring life to the history inside of it. Uh, they will primer it and uh, paint it and everything. They're, they're fixing some of the boards that are bad, and you'd be surprised how many boards are really good for a building that's 80 some years old. Inside the museum, Kern County's war history comes to life, ranging from the journal of a World War I medic to a vehicle that survived the attack on Pearl Harbor. For museum board chair Ronald Pierce, the museum holds a special place in his family's history, and now he's working on his mission to preserve the displays inside for generations to come. Uh, my father worked out here during the war. I can remember coming out here with him as a child and roaming around where he worked out here. Uh, so it means a little bit. If we don't preserve history, history will be lost. Pierce says the museum has the funds to operate on a day-to-day -day basis, but for large projects like $40,000 to repaint the outside of the building, they are dependent on grants and donations. The word got out. A gentleman gave us a call and he said that uh, we're interested in giving you the $40,000 to repaint the building. And it is through the Johnson Family Fund. Uh, it's celebrating the life of uh, Charles Johnson that has deceased and was in the military. While the outside of the museum looks a little worse for wear at this stage, in the meantime, they'll still be open Fridays and Saturdays as crews continue to work to restore the outside of the building. In Shafter, Sam Hoyle, 23 ABC News, connecting you.